What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of our MLB The Show online rated series. This is MLB The Show 21 and this is the second episode in this series and we are going back with the Miami Marlins and we are facing the Boston Red Sox. So this is another common team that is chose on MLB online rated. Like I said, it's the Red Sox, Dodgers, Yankees, Astros, and Atlanta Braves. Those are the teams I really see a lot. So this is another good matchup here. You wanna watch it from beginning to the end. This is a crazy game, man. So my opponent is up first to bat, top of the inning, 0-1 pitch, no outs. Eliezer Hernandez is our starting pitcher for the day. And he is going up against Kike Hernandez, the center fielder. So 0-2 pitch on the way. Eliezer Hernandez, that one is top right of the zone. A little bit out of the zone there, but my opponent swung and missed. And that will be the first out of the top of the first inning. So only one out remaining my opponent drives it up the middle to center field and that one is going to drop for a base hit so a good start for my opponent when you get that first hit is always rewarding especially if you can get it in the first inning you set you up you set yourself up with a bit of momentum but he does ground this ball right to the first baseman and that will be it for the first inning or the top of the first inning so now it's time for us to bat. And if you know the Miami Marlins in the last video I uploaded, you know the Marlins are not that good of a hidden team, man. I don't know, maybe it's just me or maybe it's just the Marlins, but I would have to say it's, it's probably both of us because there are some pitches where I swing at and it's like, why would I even swing at that? And then you also have this thing called the PCI where you have to aim where the ball is going to make contact on the bat. That's kind of hard for me. And so I end up missing a lot of uh, uh, pitches that are in a good position for me to hit, but I just don't aim it right. But on that position there, or I said that position like it's 2K, but on that pitch there, I don't know what happened. I was able to get good contact, got a base hit, but I tried to get a little bit too greedy and tried to get extra bases and I was tagged out. So unfortunately, the in and in and there. But yeah, speaking about the Marlins, man, I think it's just them, man. It's, it's me and it's the Marlins. This roster is not good for hitting. I think if you look at the uh, overall rating for them when it comes to hitting, they're like ranked 26th or 25th. So this team is bottom of the barrel. And I'm pretty sure if I play with the Yankees or even the Red Sox, I'll be hitting home runs out the park like crazy. But it's good to give yourself a challenge. And that's kind of why I like playing with the Marlins, even though they're my favorite team. Well, not really they're my favorite team, but that's my hometown team. So top of the third, 0-1. We're back to pitching now. The pitching has to be on point. If it's not, then we're gonna get blown out of this game pretty quickly. Nathan Evaldi at bat, 0-2. That one's chopped up right to Eliezer Hernandez and that is going to be the first out of the top of the third. Now we have another batter, Hernandez, slow pitch, and that one is a slider outside of the zone. My opponent is liking the pitches that he sees because he's swinging a lot, and maybe that's because that's due to his experience and not really recognizing how where the pitch is going to go, but he did swing at a lot of pitches, which helped us in the long run. So two, two count, one out, Hernandez winds up. That pitch is going to be in the zone, but he hits it just perfectly to left field right before the foul line. And he is going to get double bases or uh, extra base on that hit there. So still one out, there's a man at second now. We have to really try and get out of this inning. It's not looking too good for us. And he sends one right up the middle and that is going to be an out but there is a man who has advanced to third base. So Hernandez is struggling a little bit, but I'm still feeling confident that I could get out of this inning. As long as I put my pitches low and away and I'm, I'm able to make him swing, we'll be good. And when it comes to the last pitch for a strikeout, we have to capitalize on that. We cannot play games with him and, and we cannot play games with him when he's hitting because the Boston Red Sox, they have an amazing hitting crew on that team. So as you can see, he did get a hit there, but we were able to tag him out and that is going to be it for the top of the third. He did have a guy come in and score a run, but 
Luckily for us, he made a little bit of a mistake, try to get too greedy like I did earlier in the video, and we were able to tag him out. So going to the top of the fourth, you can see we don't have a lot of hidden highlights in the first half of this game. And like I said, the Marlins, they did not do a good job of hitting. We were just hitting foul balls or balls right to outfielders or infielders. We weren't really hitting the ball too good, and you could see that the score is 1-0, and that's representative representative of us hitting the ball like that so he's at bat again that one is popped up to middle field and that is going to be the first out of the top of the fourth so one out oh one pitch on the way that one is low in the way and Kike Hernandez just crushes this one and that is going to be a home run for him ah I, I try to put the pitches low in a way but I could only go so far and try and play with the, the the box without having without it being a ball and he just crushed that one that was low and right down the center of the plate so that's an easy home run for him and we just have to try and limit our mistakes here so that's gonna be it for the top of the fourth now the pressure is on everybody the pressure is on the hidden team or the offense and the defense now because we have to try and get some hits and score some runs it's the bottom of the fourth and look at the pitch i swing at that makes no sense way out of the zone and i still swing at it and that tells you how this game was going but there's still a lot of time left in this game and we could try and make a comeback nasty fast ball there right on the edge of the zone or right on the inside of the zone and that is going to be called a strike but Jesus Sanchez right up the middle he's gonna get double bases here I don't know what happened on this play my opponent seemed to be out of position and I thought he wasn't playing no more and I tried to round to third but it teleported him and he threw the ball back uh, to uh, the third baseman and I was able to get back to second base so now Lewis Brinson up to bat. My opponent taking his time with this pitch. Oh, oh, one out so far. Brinson, 1 0 pitch. We have a man on second. Here's the pitch. That one is in the zone. A cutter on the left side of the zone. Good pitch placement by my opponent there, making the count 1 1. I threw a sacrifice bunt because I needed to get the guy to third. Lewis Brinson not fast enough, but Jesus Sanchez is. And I almost got greedy again. I don't know what's wrong with me in base running, but it's something we have to fix next, next game. But this inning wouldn't really matter because Luis Diaz would send a fly ball to the middle of the field and that is going to end out that inning there so now let's move on to the top of the six hernandez has 66 or 55 pitches thrown excuse me and he's just putting in work i was pretty impressed with his performance although we've allowed two runs considering our poor hitting performance he's carried a lot of the lows so far so now Hernandez is getting tired and I need to think about putting a guy in the game later on. So we are going to warm up Richard Blyer. Hernandez, you can see his accuracy is a little bit crazy now and his energy has fallen to a considerable amount where I probably need to take him out. Double play here. This is set up beautifully and we do get it and that is going to be the end of the top of the six. So now let's move on to the bottom of the six. We have to try and make something happen here. Secret City Baller 1 has the lead and I need to try and come back. Miguel Rojas is at bat. Oh, oh, pitch. That one is out of the zone and fouled off. Oh, one pitch on the way. Rojas sees the pitch and he sends it to left field. And that one is going to be a home run right over the middle of the plate, high and in the sweet spot of that zone. And Rojas hits a home run, making the game one to two. So now we're right back in this game. Let's see what Jazz Chisholm can do. He doesn't really do a lot and he ends up striking out. But here we go. Brian De La Cruz, that one is set to left field, too fast for the infielder to handle it, and De La Cruz is on base. So, we have a tie-in run, and we could also take the lead if we had a home run. So now this is Jesus Sanchez, right-handed hitter. That one is right on the side of the zone there. Jesus got to get himself under control. That one is fouled off to the right side of the field. 0-2 pitch now. 
Jesus swings at that one and that one is sent to right field now and that one is going to get gone and out of the park for a home run and we finally take the lead. What an amazing comeback, but the game is not done yet. Lewis Brinson up to bat, 0-1, oh, one, one out, pitch high and away. My opponent is faltering and stumbling now. 1-1 one, one pitch, here we go. Brinson sends that one to left field, and that is another home run for us in the bottom of the sixth. An amazing inning for us. I was not expecting that inning, and that was crazy. So now, top of the seven, Hernandez did his job pitching. Now comes in Richard Blyer against Kike Hernandez, who has already hit a home run, and we just have to try to put him away. Blyer, left-handed pitcher. Those pitches look nasty coming out of his hand. Blyer again, 2-2 two -two count. So now, one more pitch for a strike. Let's see if I can get my opponent to swing and miss. 2-2, two -two, no outs, and he does exactly what I want him to do, and that is the first out of the top of the seven. So now, we just have to play defense. Our offense don't matter. As long as we play good defense, we'll win this game. That pitch is sent to the first baseman. Hernandez, or excuse me, Blyer runs to the first base and is able to get the out. So two outs in the top of the second. 0-2 oh, count, and that one makes it 0-3, batter strikes out, and Blyer is looking beautiful to start this game. Top of the eighth now. Marlins haven't really been hitting the ball after that amazing sixth inning, but you know, like I said, the defense is what, it is what's going to save us. So, my opponent is running out of time. Top of the night, 2-2 two -two count, no outs, and this will be the first out of the top of the ninth right here. Beautiful play from the guys, and I'm really impressed with how they played. So, two more outs. This is the second out right here. Routine ground ball for Jazz. Chisholm throws to the first base, and two outs remain in this game, or one out remain in the top of the ninth. Here we go. Richard Blyer. This is against Xander Bogarts, and he sends it to middle field. That one is going to drop between the shortstop and the middle fielder, and he has a man on base. Potential. He could tie the game up here if he hits a home run with Kike Hernandez, and I thought about this. I said, I cannot throw exactly to Kike Hernandez because he's already sent a, a ball out of the park already, and my opponent would have loved to hit me make contact on that pitch there because that type of pitch he made contact and hit a home run 2-2 two, two count here one more out one more strike and he does not swing he's being patient and Richard Blyer is getting tired he has no energy left full count 3-2 50 pitches thrown so far top of the ninth Blyer and that one is going to advance um, Kike Hernandez to first base that was a ball and so Blyer Looking kind of shaky. He doesn't have any energy left, and I need to go immediately to the bullpen. We don't have anyone warmed up, so I have to pull a guy off the bench and put him in the game. Dylan Frollo. Frollo. I always butcher that name, but let's see if he can save us here. Oh, oh, pitch. That one is out of the zone. Come on, ump. Give us that call there. 1 0 pitch on the way. Dylan. Hi. And in the zone, not where we wanted it. That one could have been bad there. Dylan throw. 1-1 one, one pitch. That one is popped up in field. And this is going to be the game. And we end up winning it 4-2. to two. What an amazing victory for us, man. This was a crazy come, by, come from behind victory when the Marlins, they struggled so much to hit the ball that it was... It kind of seemed impossible to uh, win this game, but you know we just hanged in. The, we just hanged in there, and baseball is a long game, so there's a lot of uh, room for error. I would have to say. So pretty good game. I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm looking to bring more MLB to the channel and different types of games. I also have to play Madden a little bit more. I haven't played Madden in a while, but. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to that soon, play a game, and record a video. But this game was definitely fun to play. So, this is my record on MLB The Show. We're like 37 and 16, so not a bad record. And just keep on improving, 35 and 17. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.